Okay, hi guys. Uh, this is only my my second or third YouTube video that I've been putting up. Usually they're driven by my uh, kids, car problems. So, um, sorry about the glare. I'm inside a Honda, Honda Odyssey van 2007. My daughter called me up. She had a problem with, I think she has a 2015 Honda Civic. She pulled a code, you know, about my kid, like a fixed adapter, FIXD. I hate their software, but their adapter is the best. It complies with all these apps. And it's um, it's good for Apple and Samsung. So I like to pimp out that adapter. It's only like 20 bucks, but it's worth it. I bought a bunch of the Chinese ones and they're kind of hit and miss. The only one that actually works with the iPhone and Android is that fixed. It's F-I-X-D and you can get it on some website. Um, and it's 20 bucks. Okay, so today I'm using the Torque app to troubleshoot a code that she had. She had a P2127, which was a throttle positioning uh, sensor went bad. I told her that she should check all the wiring around it and make sure no rats have eaten it or anything. And I said, but a real simple, a real simple test would be to hook it up to the torque to the torque app and then pull up the sensor and make a little sensor a uh, little sensor widget and then uh, step on your gas pedal and it'll tell you that that whole circuit's good. If that circuit's bad, you go back and troubleshoot it um, with an ohmmeter and all that other stuff and you could disconnect one and use the app and stroke the pedal and see if it changes and so forth and so on. But uh, this is just like a preliminary check, real easy sleazy. I think that her, so I believe that with the symptoms that she called me, even though it's sending a throttle positioning sensor error, I think it's her math sensor is probably dirty. She probably has to take it out and spray clean it. I'll let you guys know what happened at the end. But uh, the reason I'm making this video it's been, she's in San Diego. I'm like a hundred miles up and I can't go help her out, but I don't want her to get ripped off. So she's doing all this work for her husband. So to get on with it, you, uh, you got to open up the torque app, connect to your Bluetooth adapter, OBD2. And then you go to real time information, which is right here. You click on real time information and you go to an open screen. So I'll use this as the open screen. You highlight it in an open spot. You press down for a little while. It's gonna give you the add display option. So I wanna add a display. I'm gonna add a graph. And I'm gonna pick the sensor. So there's two sensors on this. I think there's a throttle positioning sensor. So I'm gonna pick that. And that's at the manifold. I'm gonna pick a large a uh, large widget. I'm going to move it right over here. And then I'm going to add another to the display. I'm going to add a display. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick a graph. And I just want to see movement in the, uh, the throttle positioning sensor. So that was at the manifold. Now I'm looking for a throttle positioning sensor at the gas pedal somewhere. So let's see if I could find it. Um, transmission, throttle position manifold. So there you go. I'm looking for throttle position sensor right here, throttle. So relative throttle position right there. We're going to click that. I'm going to pick a large display, move it on over here. And this is just a, uh, just to check if it's even working. So I'm going to go to my gas pedal here and I'm going to stroke it or step on it. As you step on it, you should see these lines move. So you see how the one's starting at 20%, the other one's 10%. It's reading something because that's your idle setting. So I'm going to step on it. You should see movement like that. And as you step on it smoothly, you should it should be a steady climb, right? And this is with the car off, of course. I mean, the engine turned off, of course, just on the ACC. And then I'm topped off right there, and it's at like 80%. So it looks like the bottom 20% and top 
is your zero and hundred. So you start off at 20 and go to hundred. Then as I let go of the gas, it does that. So in stroking the gas pedal, it should give me these readings. So you see how the throttle response gauge right there is also moving. So that's assuming that the car's on is telling me, man, I'm really stepping on the gas pedal. But since we're only, since we're only double checking sensors, so this whole loop in this sounds like if it's good. If I was at my daughter's house, I could run through the troubleshooting and uh, maybe she'll make a video to, that I could splice into this so she could post the results along with this video. But uh, for now, this video, I just made it for my daughter so she could apply these troubleshooting things. Maybe she'll, she'll videotape her stuff and I could splice it in. I hope this helps you in troubleshooting your throttle positioning sensor. And I'm sure you could do that with the MAF sensor too, but I think the car has to be on to um, to read flow on the MAF sensor. Well, let's try that out. Let's see if it works. Let me, I'll just highlight here. I'm gonna add a display. I'm gonna go with the bar display. Let's try something new. And then I'm gonna look for MAF sensor. Where's MAF? I don't even know if they have it in the torque thing, but if they do, it's going to be awesome. Intake manifold, intake air temperature, intake. So let's try that intake manifold pressure and let's do a large one. So here we are. Let me turn the car on and see what happens. Oh yeah. So it looks like my map sensor is working. So it's reading, uh, 7.0 intake and then as I step on the gas it changes so that's pulling a vacuum right so if you guys notice when when I turned it off it read 13.9 uh, well that's atmospheric pressure so 13.9 is atmospheric pressure that's why it's reading that when you start the car up the sensor starts reading and it's and because it's sucking it's going to read in a vacuum so that's why it drops down. So, so I'm starting up the car. Oops, sorry. Let's see what happens. Ah, dumb. Okay, so now it's pulling a vacuum. Right, as I step on it, it should drop lower. So here we go. So I'm stepping on it. It sucks, 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 sucks. The pressure drops. See what I mean? So that's how the system should work. Okay, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.